Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Montana, 1880. My name is Colton White. My father and I hunt game for the steamboats travel on the Missouri. Not a bad living if you can stand your old man kicking you every morning at dawn. Bite some jerky and collect your gear. Time to earn our pay. Come on. The more game we bag, the more we get paid. Let's get moving. Right behind you, Paul. There he is. Got him. Sure took your sweet time. I was just admiring your rifle. <clears throat> Another tick or two and you'd be putting me to bed with a pick and shovel. You're too damn ornery to die. Well, it prides me to see it's rubbed off on you plenty. Always remember, son, in this world, pure cussedness will carry you farther than a Comanche's pony. Ah, uh, here's our payday. Wait here. Be back in a moment. Did you bring it? Where is it? In the safe? Bounty, my son. Truly the Lord has blessed you with the 
talent of a marksman. I do all right, preacher. I'll rest easy tonight knowing one so capable as you is among us. A good day to you, sir. If that's a man of the cloth, then I'm the king of Siam. Keep an eye on him. I'm gonna have a word with the pilot. Tell me where it is you want, and hold. And you will save the lives of everyone on this boat! They will be done! Too late, that preacher killed her. Son of a bitch is leading the ambush. Son, listen close, cause there ain't much time. I've done my best to raise you right, but all your life I've been lying to you. The boilers are gonna blow. Quick, take this. That's a token for the Alhambra, the cat house in Dodge City. Go there and ask for Jenny. I ain't leaving you, Pa. God damn it, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I ain't your father. Now go! <laughs> Covered, sir. You failed me? No, sir. The whore had it stowed inside the safe and it sank to the bottom of the river. Failure was not an option. The price must be paid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that back. You meant no harm, friend. I thought for certain you were dead. I, I kicked you three times. Who are you? Friends call me Honest Tom. I need to get upriver. The steamboat's been ambushed. The Morning Star? Hell, it was three days ago. Were you aboard? Mm -hmm. Oh, hate to tell you, friend, but no one survived. Renegades got them all. Scalped every man, woman, and child. Bloody savages. Ned. Where's Dodge City from here? Through the pass. About a day's ride to the ferry boat. That horse for sale? In a hurry, huh? I don't blame you. If I had me a token to the Alhambra, I'd be in a hurry, too. <laughs> you, uh, look to be a sporting man. Care to wager? Well, kid, you win fair and square. Be kind to her, will you? I will. She's been a good animal. Thanks. Come on. God damn it, it took you long enough. 
So much for your name. You really think I'd give up my ride without a fight? Let's kill this bastard. He's got an Alhambra token on him. Much obliged, Tony. If I pass this way again, I'll be sure and throw some dirt on you. Hey, you're lucky. This is my last run until further notice. The fugitive band of Apaches are on the warpath again. They cut the telegraph and destroyed the bridge leading out of Dodge. What's got them stirred up? New railroad between Dodge and Empire. Cuts through their land. Dodge City. Take the token to the Alhambra Saloon and ask for Jenny. That's what Ned said just before he died. Help you? I'm looking for Jenny. Hey, Jenny! Where'd you get this? A fella named Ned White give me it. Told me to come here and ask for you. I remember Ned. He was real sweet on a girl that used to work here, Sadie. That's her picture above the bar. Sadie's dead. What? How do you know? Who are you? Ned was my father. He and Sadie were both killed on a steamboat up north. On upstairs. God damn it, girl! How long we gotta wait for you get a proper poke? Till I tell you. Now have another drink on me and I'll be with you shortly. He ain't getting a poke before uh, us. Let go of me! Not till I'm done with you, bitch! Come on! Girl. Yeah! Yeah! Like this! Yeah! Come over here. Better show you this now before the rest of the Red Hands show up. It's all yours. The night before she left, Sadie begged me to keep it safe till Ned came for it. Poor girl was in love with him, I think. Ned never cared much for six guns. Rifle and tomahawk were his choosing. Where'd Sadie go from here? Empire, New Mexico. A new sporting house wanted her for the main attraction, but she ran off a short time after she got there. Huh, you know why? No, but maybe I'll find out. As soon as the roads open, I'm going to Empire to replace her. Ah! Back. Burning to the ground! That bastard killed my brother! Let's settle this thing, if you got the balls. Hell of a shot, kid. Bet he was dead before he hit the ground. Huh. You gonna arrest me? Hell no. I'm gonna hire you. I'm Patrick Denton, city marshal. Where you been, Pat? All hell's broken loose here. Huh? Out at the bridge. Huh? Apaches are making things plenty hot out there. Listen, I could use a dead shot like you to protect the Chinaman. How about it? He's coming back inside with me. Oh, lucky him. Well, if you change your mind, kid, come on out to the bridge west of town. Damn Peckerwood. Jenny, can you keep a secret? I'm a book of secrets, honey. I was on that steamboat. A murdering preacher led the attack. I saw him kill Sadie. <gasps> a preacher? About a week ago, a reverend named Reed showed up here looking for Sadie. Did he say where he was from? He said he'd come from Empire. Then I'm going there with you. I know the mayor of Empire. 
His name's Hoodoo Brown. If anyone can help you find that preacher, it'll be him. And I better get out to that bridge, help that marshal get the road open. <laughs> Keep the change. <laughs> Reed, that son of a bitch is gonna pay. Just as soon as I get to Empire City. Four no, people you died. listen. I'm the boss, and I say this bridge has got to. This open. the road to Empire? Huh? Well, yeah, till Quick Killer shut it down. He and his band have been keeping things so hot, even the Irish won't work anymore. Only the damn coolies are willing. Where you want me? On the far end of the bridge, son. Chinamen got one last section to go, and I don't want them stopped again. Kid, keep an eye peeled. Indians made off with a box of TNT last night. They're aiming to use it, I'm sure. Kid, that's a load off my mind. <laughs> now you cover the road and let the Chinamen do the rest. Easy for you to say. Chuba! Let's go! Damn, kid, that was some kind of shooting. Old Quick Killer's gonna think twice before he tries something again. <laughs> God damn it, the devil won't give up! <laughs> I'll take care of this. Kid, thanks to you, this bridge will be open lickety split, and you and Jenny can be on your way. That stage route will still be crawling with Apaches. How many men you got coming with us? Just two, driver and shotgun messenger. That ain't enough. That's all you got. Apaches got everyone else too damn scared. Likely to meet Apaches along the way. If they get the upper hand, I promise you'll put a bullet in my head before they have their fun. Buy you some with this. All set. Come up. I shoot that barrel and let's get the hell out of here. Thank God you're here. The damn Apaches cut the telegraph wires, and I was beginning to fear for the worst. We were ambushed in the Badlands. None of your precious parts was damaged, I hope. You know how our customers hate bruised fruit. <laughs> <sighs> I'm in one piece, <clears throat> thanks to Colton here. He left more than a few Apaches dead in their tracks. Son, you've done the town of Empire a great service. I'm Mayor Hoodoo Brown. Should you ever need any assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. I am looking for someone. I told him you would help. Of course, of course. Listen, why don't you have a look around town, and then come and see me inside, and we'll have ourselves a proper sit-down. Now, let's get you freshened up. To hell with that lion rag! <laughs> Goddamn reprobates have no respect for law and order!
Looking for hoodoo, I'd wager? This way. Come on in, kid. We were just about to hold our usual confabulation before the night shift begins. I see Rudabaw has already made your acquaintance. This is J.J. Webb, my other right-hand man. Now tell us about this fellow you're looking for. Jenny said something about him being a jack preacher. Reed's his name, Josiah Reed. What do you want with him? It's a personal matter. Hmm, I see. Tell you what, I could use a crack shot like you. You put this on, and I'll see if I can find some information on that scalawag Reed. When that skunk shows his face again, you'll have the law on your side. What do you say? I hereby deputize you, Constable. Empire Police Department. Spotted Chavez, he's Chavez in town. What's going on? Key player among the resistance is in town. If you boys can nab him, it'll be a big step toward restoring some law and order here. Get going. Where's Chavez? He just left. Before that, he was talking to them too. Well, I don't know, man. This this here problem's getting pretty big. If Apaches don't start pulling this thing together, I don't know what we're gonna do. Law! Huh? I better warn Clay. Please, don't kill us. Let us go. Guess we missed Chavez. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? They were unarmed. Bullshit. As Gracer was pulling a gun. Didn't you see it? I saw it clear as day. You better get wise, kid, if you want to stay alive. You shot those folks in cold blood. I'm taking you to Hoodoo. You dumb rube. Who do you think we take orders from? Hoodoo's been playing you and your little whore like a fiddle. Keep your hands up. What are you gonna do? Shoot us in cold blood? Yeah, rube. Who's the murderer then? <laughs> Well, Hoodoo, no time to lay your cards on the table. I'll bet you know more about Reed than you let on. Hey, kid. I'm nothing but your damn puppet. Is that what you think? Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, kid. Who told you such a thing? Webb and Rudabaugh, before I plugged them both. They're dead? Just like you're gonna be. Kid, listen to me. That preacher you're looking for is in that room right now with Jenny. She lured him there. I was just coming to get you. Liar! <coughs> Jenny! <coughs> no! Help! Uh. No, no! <coughs> uh. from the steamboat. <laughs> yes. Bring him to me. I had to waste a perfectly good whore to get to the truth about you. Bastard. I could hardly believe it when she told me. Ned White, still alive after all those years. <laughs> now he's as dead as you're gonna be. <laughs> Hang him in the morning for the murder of the girl. Oh. 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 
His old hoodoo's got the touch of a blacksmith, don't he? What did you do? Torched his printing press. You saw it. A subtle act of protest to silence the mouth of tyranny. That's Soapy. He's educated. How come he's in there? It's a little game we play. They lock me up, and I find a way out. And you, my good man? How did you incur the mayor's disfavor? I killed Webb and Rudabaugh. Gonna kill Hoodoo, too, and a certain Jack Preacher, and that one-eyed pig they work for. Thomas Magruder. Railroad man. He's taken over the territory. Us and the Apaches are the only ones fighting back. Count me in, too. As soon as we find the way out of here. I heard you is a little sneak that done cracked that safe in Monte Verde. Give me the keys or you'll be slipping on your own guts. I don't got them, I swear. Hoodoo took them for safekeeping. So, so killing me won't do no good, you see? You'll still swing tomorrow. If you grab that badge he so enjoys degrading, you can use its pin to pick the cell lock. I'll tell you how, if you promise to free me as well. Know what that makes you, partner? Hey! Oh. This human lockbox they got me in is gonna be a little tougher. I'm afraid you're probably gonna have to blast me out of here if you hold fair to our deal. Gentlemen, I regret to say this is where I fall. The calmer climbs of dear old Dodger calling. So long, Soap. I wish you well. Don't shoot, boys. It's Port. Port, it's good to see you. Uh, Oh, how bad they treat you? They busted me up pretty good, but I didn't squawk none. This here's the fella who sprung me. Port, are you blind? This is one of Hoodoo's boys. Search him. We saw them shaking hands in front of the hotel. No, Clay. He's all right. He killed Webb and Rudabaugh. What the hell is this? You know this man? That's my father, Ned White. Bullshit. I served with Ned in the war. He was killed in action ten years ago. You're mistaken, friend. Ned and I have been working the Rockies since I was a cub. Ned was murdered just a few weeks ago. Clay, he's after Thomas Magruder, just like us. I tracked the man behind Ned's death to Empire. Turns out he was working for Thomas Magruder. Ah, oh, want to get Magruder, do you? and every bastard on his payroll. Welcome to the Resistance. You can bet they've turned Empire into a fortress since your escape, but there may be a way in yet. The Gooder sent a Gatling gun from Dodge in a train, or it's already out there laying the trap. Come on, let's go. Hey, Clay, just in time. Cole, can you give me a hand with these powder kegs? As I unload these TNT barrels, do me a favor and move them into position by those loose rocks over there. Clay, Chavez and Chavez and the boys thought they could take the train and dodge, but it was a trap. They're getting slaughtered. You better have a look at this. Looks like you aren't the only ones being driven off your land. 
Bet you Magruder's using them for slaves. Get him out of there! They want water. Bring up some canteens. Ah, oh, shit. Then take them home. In the Slago Nasin said Nadi Tin Beka. Now I've set many free. Where did you learn Apache? I'm not sure. It's like I could understand what he was saying, but I couldn't quite speak it. Ah. Better get back to the hideout and plan our strike. Good to see the boys cut loose, huh? Maybe their last time before Magruder comes knocking. When I was face to face with that one-eyed bastard, he said he knew Nid. Is that true? Kid, Magruder was our commanding officer in the war. You're kidding me. What happened, Clay? Tell me. It was late 64. The Confederacy was desperate. Magruder had convinced Richmond to send us on a secret mission he thought could turn the tide. Find Kivera, an ancient city of gold. It was rumored a white man in the area had been to the lost city. Ned led us to him. Dr. Campbell, I presume. Major Magruder, Texas Mounted Rifles. You're in the wrong place if you're hunting Federals, Major. I'm not hunting Federals, Doctor. Corporal Allison! Where is the cross? I don't know what you're talking about. What's he saying? He says one day you will find what you seek, and that day will be your last. Jesus, Tom! I haven't time for games, Doctor. Stop it, Tom. I never agreed to this. Count it! Long last. You son of a bitch! That cross is no good to you! I will not be denied! And I stood up like Ned. The greeter might be in hell instead of back here doing his devilish work. You mean he's still after Corvera? The war ended, but his mission didn't. It's his holy grail. Clay, right before he died, Ned told me he wasn't my real father. You know anything about that? No, kid, I don't. Except that Ned was full of surprises. Ray! It's Magruder's militia. At least 20 men on horseback. Go. I'm Andy Gatlin Gun. Yeah! <laughs> My God, look at them run. Hey! They captured Clay up on the ridge. They're taking him to Empire. It's over now. We're licked. Bullshit. Now we got a howitzer and a Gatlin gun. Let's put them to use. It's no good, kid. They know where we are now. We'll be back tomorrow with twice the men. Then let's do what they don't expect. Attack. God damn, kid. You're as crazy as Clay. Jones and Decker have managed to sneak that howitzer down to the gulch just north of Empire and are waiting for us to join them for the attack. Let's move, kid. We're burning daylight. <laughs> Like some of your boys are attempting a rescue. The fools. <laughs> Come morning, I'll be hanging them all. Go back to the pliers if that's what you prefer. God damn, 
kid. What the hell is going on out there? We've come for you. And for Hoodoo. He's upstairs, Cole. I can't hold my gun. Please, kid. Just let me go. I'll give you whatever you want. I want some answers. Let's start with a steamer. Why was it ambushed? Tell me, or I'll turn your brains into wallpaper. There was something on board. Something Magruder's whore had made off with. Sadie, what was it she took? I don't know. <laughs> Only the preacher knew. Magruder sent him to get it back at all costs. But the bitch stowed it in the pilot's safe. It sank when the boilers blew. It's under 10 feet of water. You can't get to it. When the snow is melting, this time of year, the water levels dropped a dozen feet or more. Thanks, hoodoo. You son of a bitch! Makes a stink, don't he? Wish you'd stay, kid. Could use you when Magruder retaliates. Gotta get what's in that safe. Maybe that can help bring him down. Off to Dodge first, though. Dodge? What for? To pull a certain safe cracker out of retirement. Yeah! Whatever's in that safe means more to Magruder than life itself. If I can get to it first, maybe I can finish what Ned started. Denton, that you? What happened? Met with a mob of some of the more colorful citizens in town. What brings you back so soon, kid? Looking for an acquaintance. A little gambler named Soapy Jennings. You know him? Yeah, if you hurry, you might catch him. He's leaving? Might say that. Luke Short and his boys are lynching him at the gallows. Didn't care much for the way he shuffled cards. Come on. Come on now. You don't gotta get. Somebody help me! Please! was my foundation. It was nothing but a piss hole for Mexicans until I put hoodoo in place. Where's the kid now? He was just in Dodge. Rumor is he rescued a safe cracker and fled north. He's going for the safe. Surely those renegades will retrieve it. Those traitors can't be trusted. You lost it. You go get it back. Now, go. I'm on my way, sir. Soap, you watch the path. Shout up if you see anyone. Damn. Can't get to the steamer wreck without showing ourselves to the fort. What's wrong with that? Don't want anyone to know we're here. Too late. 
Only two kinds of white men out here, soldiers and outlaws. And since I see no blue, you must be running from trouble or looking to stir some up. Till I figure which, you'll be my guest. Now let's have your guns. That's a fine rifle. How'd you come by it? Pride it from the cold, dead fingers of an Indian loving fool. Sergeant Hollister, son of a bitch who commanded the Steamboat Massacre. Join the party. Take a squaw, even. Sarge, he's here. Let him in. But if I catch either of you trying to run, I'll slit you both wide open and make bowstrings of your guts. We're going down to the steamer. If anyone else approaches, take them out with the cannons. Let's go. Gruder's impatient. Holy shit, it's Reed. He must be after that safe, too. Come on, let's get out of this hill. Zika sexy, wa tziti ba, niskini ba, a uknis o. Koatsa Scots Opa Anoma Otaka Sitzi Piska Kimata Kitski Utoa Nisikze Utusoa Kiki Tapit Nitsopu Ista Pato Toba Anoma Sao Mita Ika Kimo Misokata Tsimisa Aniskisi Iini Ko Wanix Tsiato Akana Onupa Kisima nis topa, kita manas sini anoka, kita stamut zo, kita kenes zake sipa, anitsi ita nes topi, ki akezi koma motopa. Our village lies ahead, down this road. Right on, we will meet you there. Stavo digini. What's he saying now? He's telling a story of how I earned this necklace. It was a summer, a dozen years ago now. One morning I left camp to hunt on my own. I was skinning a small buck when a mountain lion attacked me from behind. Cat claws peeled me like an apple before I managed to slit his throat. Ned found me, stitched me back together as best he could. For a week I hovered near death until a Blackfoot shaman brought me out of it. Ned said I come out of it different. Said I moved and stalked like a cougar now. So you owe the Blackfeet your life. Anok omatapapa tziyup. Napikoan omotsuki. There is a way to make you great again. Destroy the fort and the men inside. Bishkani inama wa siyup. Destroy them first. Then the fort will be vulnerable. I know how this can be done. Trying to hide from me? I'll come here! Belly. Ah! Shame to waste good dynamite.
Iksukapi kina o namai kitai na ano ksistikoi o tak espawanyo. Goodbye, my friend. Come on, so. Soapy, time for you to go to work. Ha <laughs> ha, here kid, you can have the honors. Thank you for saving me the trouble of trying to open that myself. Now hand it over. Run! Spanish, 16th century. Writing's in Latin. It's incomplete. Another piece must fit here. I know where it is. Come on. The item. Did he get that too? Put a price on that kid's head. I don't care how much. I want every bounty hunter, every mercenary, every damn snake in the Western territories looking for that son of a bitch. No one is gonna stand in the way of my destiny. You understand? No one. Not the federal government, not the Apaches, and not some pissant kid with a stick gun. Oh, Jesus. Pardon me. Let's go. You gonna leave him like that? They've been left as a warning. Cut them down, they might put us there instead. I think we might end up there anyway. She cut that's it is a Jean. Hot don't She need be nya. I seek something you possess. Dawa chao ka ye nai ka hi et e be hitla hi be. I don't understand. What are these things? Na zi hi bie hit e shi na jon bil jon ni et e. Get inside. Shitani enahishyet at e. Shishe, 
Cross meeting on the steamer. Ned was staging his revenge after all those years. He was trying to make things right, but Magruder caught on. I came here to unite the pieces of this cross. I never expected all this. <laughs> There's a Latin phrase on each arm. It looks like some kind of map to... His zuki at ehi chegosh a... Looks like Magruder's already found it. It can't be that easy. He only had half the cross. From God's altar, hmm. looks like twixt the tears of God and the spires of heaven, when sun, sun and, moon and moon meet, dusk, behold his kingdom. There, they missed the mark. It's above the mine, not below. Huh? Get up there in the wall! Uh, kid, get down! Show me the location, or shall I continue? No way. Dutchy! <laughs> wait, wait! It's there! There! That's impossible. I've sunk shafts all over that sector. You gotta dig up, you damn fool! It's above you! Of course! <laughs> dig up! Up! <laughs> Dutchy! Get me back to that mine. Then take your train to find a kid. And as for this little sneak... Kid, I, I told him. I told Magruder where it is. I had to. He was gonna blow them all off. I'm sorry. Can you move? <clears throat> On the other side of this hill, many wounds, and his warriors are gathering with Clay Allison and his men. Tell them to meet me back here at dawn. Where are you going? You want your fingers back, don't you? Magruder's turned the mountain inside out looking for a Corvero, and all along the lost city was right over his head. I've got to beat that bastard to it. Front of Magruder's mind, but the doors are solid steel. I still don't know how we're getting in. You're riding on it. Better help me stoke this fire, because we're gonna need a lot more speed. You lost your damn mind, kid. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Kill Magruder Express. Next stop, end of the line.
<laughs> I always wanted to do that. Has it been worth all the bloodshed? How can you ask a question like that? When your eyes are feasting on such magnificence. I don't see anything magnificent. Just a fat, one-eyed bastard whose greed has no boundary. <laughs> that sounds like Ned talking. No, this is Ned talking. Ah! <clears throat> <laughs> Shoot you in the teeth. That would be too kind. Reckon instead I'll take my knife and whittle you some like you did Soapy. And then slit your throat like you did Jenny. Or maybe I'll take this cross and jam it in your good eye and watch you twitch. And none of that'll bring back my ma and pa. Or all those villagers you massacred. Nor Ned raised me as his own. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? So long, Major. Give the devil my regards. Wait. Oh, Jesus is coming down. Get back here, you can't leave me like this. Get back here. I can make it worth a while. Yeah. <laughs> 